All right, I'm going to run through this, and I'd like you to check the work that you've done against this and see where we may disagree. Um, we're given this figure on page 160, number 51 of this house-like figure, and it's labeled with a base of eight, eight feet, and uh, the first floor here, if you want to call it that, the height is labeled as 6x minus y, and the, the roof part of this has a base of 8 feet also and a height of 3x minus 5y. And it would like to have us find the area of this entire figure. So we'll find the area of the rectangle and we'll find the area of the triangle and we'll add them together. The area of a triangle is, of course, 1 half base, base times height. Area of a rectangle is length times width. And... We'll use these two formulas to find the area separately and then add them together. So the area of the triangle in this case can be found by multiplying one half times a base of eight times a height of three x minus five y. And the area of the rectangle can be found by multiplying the length times the width or the base times the height of eight feet times the quantity six x minus y. So we'll find those areas separately and then add them together. So we'll start with the triangle. And PEMDAS tells us to do this multiplication first. So we end up with 4, 1 half times 8 gives us 4 times the quantity 3x minus 5y. And then we solve that. We distribute. And we end up with 4 times 3x gives us 12y. 4 times negative 5 gives us negative 20y. So then we'll move on to the rectangle. The quantity 8 times 6x minus y will give us 8 times 6x is 48x. 8 times negative y is minus 8y. And then we will add those together. 48x minus 8y plus this quantity. And we can just remove the parentheses because it is like distributing a 1 here. And we get 48x minus 8y plus 12x minus 20y. Then what we will do is we will, hold on a second. Sorry about that. What we'll do is we will combine our y's. I don't know why I just combine them first. I have negative eight and negative 20 gives me negative 28y. And then 48x plus 12x gives us 60x. And we usually list things in alphabetical order in algebra. So we have the total area is equal to 60x minus 28y. Take a look at that, compare it to your work, and we'll talk about it the next time we're together. Thanks.